Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Ashik Salim from Informatica GCS and in this video we'll see how to test HTTP communication to SAP from command line. These are the contents we'll be going through in this video, how it works and the use of this utility, what are the steps required and a live demo session of the same. So the use of this particular utility is to mimic the working of the SAP table reader to isolate any kind of HTTP communication issue in the SAP table reader connection. So as we know, the SAP table reader first initiates an RFC ping connection to SAP. If it is successful, it starts a NETI server in the secure region. And through the NETI server only, the data from SAP comes using the HTTP protocol. So in many cases, we are seeing the error unable to establish HTTP communication with SAP and the error could be because of the firewall, the port not open and many other issues. So when we collect the RFC trace also, we can see the same details and to isolate the issue further, we can use this utility. So what this utility does is that it starts an IT server on any port we give in the script file and using that uh, we will try to test the connection from SAP to that NIT server to ensure that there is no communication issue. Then moving on to the steps. So we have to download and zip the file, uh, test utility files to the secure agent machine. Then we have to update the exact port number, start the program, and we will validate using the host name of the particular secure agent. Then we uh, do the test connection with SAP. All these steps we will see uh, in detail during the live demo session. Moving on to the live demo. So as mentioned, this is the KB which contains all the details. And in this KB, you can see there are two files. One is for the Linux test utility, another is for the Windows test utility. So depending on your secure region OS, you have to download the correct one and keep it in a location, extract it and keep it in a location. So I'm just going to show you a Linux machine. So in this machine, I have already downloaded and kept the files. If you see, there are three files, the two jar files, which need, doesn't need any change. This is necessary for starting the NETI server and then mimic the SAP table data connection. And this is a test utility. If you open the test utility, you can see there is a script and at the end of it, the port is given. So 8080 is the port I have given for the testing. So you can change it according to your connection details. So in the connection details, we give a port range. So we, any port within the port range you can give and you can run the utility using one port first then for the other port so that you can if you want you can test the entire port range or multiple ports in the port range and moving on i'm just going to uh, start this particular script so they you can see the script is started and it is running now so and to validate this one we can go to the in you go to any browser and give http slash uh, the host name of the particular secure agent machine and the port so we can see you can see the message to see a message that means the connection is successful and if you go to the uh, linux machine you can see there's a this connection the information is also populated here so the connection is coming from this one and all the other information so similarly we can go to the SAP system and go to SM59 where the RFCs are created and HTTP connection to the external server so I have already created a, a test RFC connection for this one so only details you have to give is the target host that will be the host name of the secure agent machine where the NetiServ Neti service is running and the survey in the service number you can give the port number so if I keep a connection test now, you can see the connection text is successful. That means connection from SAP to the secure agent is successful and it will run on the port. So there is no issue in this configuration. And if you go for the Linux machine, there also you can see the user agent that is SAP NetWeaver. That is the one we have connected, connect, we did the test connection from now. SAP language is E, except encoding is GC. So all this information you can see. Post that you can stop the test utility. Similarly, for the Windows environment, if your secure agent is Windows, like this, there will be same thing. So you can, I'm just going to edit this one. You can see it's the same same script only. 
the port number if you want to change you can change it then from the command line you can start the script the process the steps will be exactly the same you can start the batch script then give uh, in this in RFC instead of giving this Linux secure engine machine like you can give the IP of this particular secure engine machine then do a test connect all the same same details will be uh, populated here also so that are the steps we will be doing and uh, if there is an error message we can see that error message also there so these utilities you can download from the scape so that concludes the live demo session like I mentioned, all these details are mentioned in this particular KB. You can search for this KB or you can call, use this link to go to a particular KB. And we would love to hear your feedback on the support videos as well as the other support videos. You can write to us on supportvideos at informatica.com or through our, contact us through our Twitter handle. That is all for this video. Thank you everyone for watching.